uh, assessing potential potential investors, uh, assess, evaluate potential investors. Just do a lot of research. A lot of it's available online. Their website, uh, Crunchbase, uh, you know, any sort of uh, references you can have on LinkedIn to the investors, like other people. And then the other thing is just you know, ask them. That's key. You know, they if they're a quality investor, they will tell you and help you in your due diligence, right? Because they want to invest in you. So don't don't hesitate. Sometimes, you know, I'll give an example of venture capital firms. Most of their stuff's online. It's pretty easy to do the due diligence. They're used to the process. Family funds are, are a different animal. I just got a term sheet, as I said at the beginning, from a family fund in Switzerland. It's harder to do investment on them because they're a little more discreet, let's put it that way, which they should be. Uh, but you can just ask them and they'll help you with the due diligence process. So that's key. In terms of valuation, uh, you know, listen, you just have to look at your own trajectory and your own strategy of what the best funding source is. Sometimes corporate venture capital is better than venture capital because they have more, you know, strategic elements they can bring to the table. They can distribute your product globally right off the bat, right? So that could be a huge plus. Valuation, uh, you know, listen, I think, uh, you know, valuation is pretty standard methodology. That would be a whole nother masterclass session. Um, but suffice to say valuation, it's, it's pretty variable at the startup stage, pre-revenue. It's, you know, typically the golden rule is a third. So, you know, if you're raising a million bucks, you know, your, your pre-post is two, three. So you get two million pre, one million capital, three million post. Um, if you're raising five, you know, it, it's, it's uh, 10 pre uh, five raise and 15 posts. So it, it's, it, and you can justify that with discounted cash flow. Um, you should certainly know, you know, the multiples, no matter what stage you're at in your sector. So you should know the public companies and how they're trading on a revenue and EBITDA basis. You should also be tracking acquisitions in your sector to know the revenue and EBITDA multiples there. That's really critical, just so you're informed, so investors understand that you're thinking about an exit, even if it's three years from now or five years from now, you're thinking about the industry and exits and other companies in your space.